Hey guys, a renowned independent journalist and the former aide to the ex-president Gulag Jonathan Jackson Ude recently voiced apprehension over the purported mistreatment of President Bola Tinubu during his visit to Saudi Arabia. Ude took to the platform X, formerly known as Twitter, to express his concern and drew attention to what he perceives as a significant decline in Nigerians' leadership standard. In his social media posts, Ude highlighted his deep-seated concerns about the alleged corrupted process through which individuals ascend to power in Nigeria. He underscored the unsettling trend of individuals with questionable background assuming crucial positions within the country, posing potential risk to its governance. Its governance. Uday's focus then shifted to Bola Metinubu, the former governor of Lagos State, who reportedly faced mis mistreatment during his visit to Saudi Arabia. Notably, Tinubu was received by the Deputy Governor Prince Mohammed bin Abdulaman bin Abdulaziz. A move intercepted by Ude as a deliberate snob giving Tinubu's uh, stature. According to Ude, even the highest echelons of Saudi leadership refrain from According to Tinubu, the expected respect with King Sanman being Adulaziz as Sard alleged maintaining a noticeable distance. Would they review that Grand Prince Mohammed bin Salman only met Tinubu on the sidelines of the Saudi African summit in Rai? further adding to the perceived lack of acknowledgement. The core of today's message resonates with the consequences of Nigerian pass passivity and indifference towards the emergence of their leaders. He issued a passionate call to action, urging Nigerians to mobilize for a rescue Nigerian worldwide protest in his ex post Ude emphasized look at Bola Tinubu in Saudi Arabia being treated like a a leopard okay Nigerians must wake up rescue Nigeria worldwide protest loading Ude's narrative underscored the border implications of com complicity and a a lackadaisical attitude towards the selection of leaders, suggesting that such indifference could lead to the continued payment of hefty price for the nation, as its call for action gains momentum, it remains to be seen how Nigerians will respond to the perceived challenges and whether these will spark renewed activism for change on a wider scale so guys what's your take on this the leadership of nigeria has been greatly downgraded according to jackson Uday. he said the embarrassment of bola tinubu in saudi arabia is is nothing to tell home about the leadership of nigeria has been greatly downgraded our leaders are now struggling to belong. This is because our leadership selection process has been heavily corrupted and hijacked by these people. This is why a drug baron, a certificate forger, and an identity thief became president and everyone is quiet. Look at Bola Tinubu in Saudi Arabia being treated like a leper. He was so downgraded that a deputy governor of Ria, Prince Mohammed bin Abdulaman, 
Ben Adulaziz was sent to receive him, not even the governor of the state. Physical being Banda bin Adulaziz as Sadir found Tenubu worthy of respect. Sadir King Sanman bin Adulaziz stayed away from Tenubu. Grand Prince Mohammed bin Saliman met Tenubu only at the sideline of the Sadia African Summit in Rae. According to Sadia Press, Nigerians would for a long time continue to pay the price of their dolly city. I don't care the attitude in how their leadership emerged. Nigeria must wake up. Rescue Nigerian worldwide process, Ludin said. In another news headline, Governor Wapu Zodima of Imo State, the candidate of the All Progressive Congress APC in the ongoing governorship election, has won in all the 27 local government areas of the state. The Punch reports. At the State Collection Center of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, Inuweri, the capital of Imo State, Uzodima won in all the local governments in the state, announced by INEC. So guys, what's your take on this? Let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you.